Hi, what's going on guys? Uh, we're gonna get the hawk up for the winter. So I thought I'd do a quick um, video on prepping your dirt bike for winter storage, or at least how I do it. And I, I do just a kind of a simple process because um, it's only gonna be up for five months. You know, if I was putting it into like super long term storage, I'd probably go over it a little better. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get rolling. So I've already got a decent amount of fuel in here, so we're going to treat what's in it first. And I've opted to try this out. Um, Startron is what I used to use, and actually I've got a video coming. I'm going to test this out versus Startron versus Untreated. So um, yeah, so it's going to be like kind of a five month long in the making. So subscribe so you can check that out in the spring. So anyway, um, we need one ounce for every five gallons. This is just under three gallons. So uh, let me do a little bit of math real quick, but like three quarters of an ounce-ish. All right, so we're going to say, I think it's like 2.7 or 2.8 gallons nope. right, on the Hawk. So but we're just going to call it three. Three divided by five, is that right? Yeah, so 60%. 30 milliliters times 0.6 is 18 milliliters. Ooh, that's going to be hard to get exact. Let's get this into the Hawk. All right, now what we're going to do is top her off. Woo! <sighs> All right. Perfect. Now, some of you might say, no, why are you doing that? Drain your gas tank. Dude, I just wiped this off. How is it all covered in schmutz already? Um, I would agree if it was a plastic tank. It's not. It's a steel tank, so... Uh, I feel it's better to just fill it up so that, um, you know, if it's full, it doesn't have room for the moisture condensation, um, or at least as much. So, anyway, um, that's kind of what I do with a steel tank. Um, like, I, like I said, plastic tanks, yeah, I probably would just drain it out. Um, but this was three, probably three quarters full anyway. And then uh, now I'm going to start it and let it run through the, um, through the carb a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna let it uh, run for a little bit. Work some of that treated fuel through the carburetor. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right. Shut the fuel off. So while I'm waiting for the engine to cool, I am going to clean and lube my chain. You don't want all this crap sitting on here for the winter, um, causing corrosion, so. By the way, kerosene works really well for cleaning the chain or any specialized chain cleaner is fine also, obviously. Hopefully Santa brings me a chain brush in my stocking. All right, once you've got it all cleaned up, you wanna hit it with uh, whatever you like for chain lube. This is what I've been using. Seems to work really well. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, get this up so I can spin the, spin the tire. So I will do that and spray this down real quick and be right back. Uh-oh. Can't get my little straw back in. Come on! If I don't do this, I'll lose it. There. Alright, fuel stabilizer in, chain cleaned and lubed. Really only a couple more things to do. Now, I did wash the bike uh, real quick. I didn't do a super good job, but... Um, so, I have some, um, some Carnuba wax. Um for the Jeep, so I'm actually just gonna wipe the plastic down, kind of help protect it a little bit. This is what I'm using, by the way. Wax on, wax off. Jeez, actually that looks pretty good. Hi right, guys, we're almost there. And this step, again, probably not necessary. If you only do one thing, please stabilize your fuel. That is, especially these days with ethanol. You know what's even better? If you can put non-ethanol fuel in it, at least for the winter. So if you've got a place around you that pumps non-ethanol fuel, that's going to be your best choice. You can still stabilize it, you know, kind of help keep it fresh. 
But corrosion wise, that is going to be your number one uh, defense, you know. Looks good. Looking good, hockey. Alright, so I know I said if you do nothing else, uh, treat your fuel or use non ethanol fuel, but there is one more thing, and that is take your battery out and put it on a float charger. Now, the ones that come in this bike are pretty crappy. It barely has enough cranking amps to turn the engine over, but uh, I'm still going to throw mine on a float charger and, you know, we'll see how it is in the spring. If I need to replace it, I will. But certainly if you have a nicer battery, you want to keep it uh, keep it fresh. Use a smart charger um, so that it, it kicks down and only charges when it's needed. JAS screwdriver, everybody. It's worth the investment. Ugh. I feel like I'm breaking it. There we go. Oh, look at that, a little bit of corrosion on the battery there. So while I'm here, I'm going to take my seat off. Now, I'm taking mine off for two reasons. One is, this is where I'm going to store the bike on my porch, and it gets cold, and vinyl doesn't like when it gets cold, so that'll help prevent cracking. But also, um, I'm planning to take it down onto my workbench, and we're going to get rid of this hump over the winter. So, um, yeah, so that's another big reason why I'm removing it. But yeah, if, you, if you're storing it outside or in a really cold garage or shed or whatever, like it doesn't get any heat, I would recommend taking it off and just stick it in a closet inside or something, you know? And off comes the seat. Stick my bolts back in so they don't get lost. Another good reason to take your seat off is... Block off, block this off if you have mice in your area, which are pretty much a problem everywhere. Um, just to keep the little suckers from getting in there. Alright, exhaust is cooled off. So let's make sure that this doesn't become a house for a mouse. Come on! Well, that rubber band didn't work very well, did it? Yeah, got a bigger one. This is a little trickier. I think if I just do this, and then maybe I'll take my rag here. We'll just stuff that in there too, make it harder for them. All right, you'll also notice I took my mirrors off. That's just because I'm gonna throw a cover on this and I want it to sit down good. Um, so really the only other thing is everything's cooled down yeah everything's cooled down uh, I'm just gonna spritz it real quick with some um, I'm gonna use WD-40 because it's what I've got but you can use really anything you know that's a rust preventative type lubricant so it just just coat stuff to prevent the rust you can be pretty liberal with it uh oh my WD-40 can died what the heck what the heck happened this is like a three-quarters full can too what the hell is even that there we go, that works better. You know, I do this with my pellet stove too, in the um, summertime. But I actually spray it with cooking spray, and then when I turn it on for the winter, it just um, smells like I'm cooking something. But keeps it from rusting. One other optional thing is you can pull the uh, spark plug, put a few drops of oil in there. Some people fog the cylinders. Um, I think these are steel cylinders, so that actually might not be a bad idea to put a few drops of oil in there and then just kind of kick it over a couple times. Um, other than that, we're all done here. I'm gonna throw the cover on. This cover's kind of nice. It's got the grommets on it, so you can still hook like a, a cable or a chain through your bike and keep it locked up. Okay. She's all asleep for the winter, guys. So, uh, but I've got some other stuff coming. I've got some dirt bike stuff. Um, 
repairs. I got my basement. I'm getting my basement set up. So uh, I've got a Honda XR200R I want to work on. That's the big project because it's got um, needs engine rebuilding. So bottom end is junk. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, it's how I do it. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, it's better than doing nothing. So um, again, big thing is the fuel and um, and the battery. So additionally, if you put it, if you get it up, you know, if you've got a stand, you can keep it on, keep the tires off the floor, especially if it's on concrete, cold concrete, because it could develop flat spots. But um, that's it. I guess uh, I guess we'll see the Hawk in the spring. But I am going to work on the seat over the winter. And like I say, I've got some other dirt bike projects. So uh, it won't be long. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.